Welcome back to Star Wars Timeline. We have a very exciting day today. StarWars.com has dropped significant update on Obi-Wan Kenobi, the upcoming miniseries special event coming exclusively on Disney+. In this video, I'll give you a quick rundown from the official StarWars.com website, look at the article, look at the casting, as well as I will discuss my personal thoughts and expectations from the show and what I hope to see from Kenobi character in the future. So let's get to it. So here we are at StarWars.com. This is official article. Let's quickly go over it and see what's going on. Obi-Wan Kenobi series to begin production in April. Cast has been revealed. Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new Disney Plus special event series starring Ewan McGregor as the iconic Jedi Master, will begin shooting in April. The story begins 10 years after the dramatic events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, where Kenobi faced his greatest defeat, the downfall and corruption of his best friend and Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker, turned evil Sith Lord Darth Vader. Obi-Wan Kenobi is directed by Deborah Chow, director of two critically acclaimed episodes of The Mandalorian Season 1. Specifically, I pulled her up. Let's have a look here. Deborah Chow. This is her IMDb page, and she's credited for Chapter 3 and 7. These are the most viewed uh, uh, episodes from the first Mandalorian season. Pretty high praise there. And this is not the only work she has done. She has also worked on an episode from American Gods. We see the Man on a High Castle, all pretty high-profile shows. Uh, we also see Lost in Space. So she's familiar with sci-fi genre. You know, she had a hand in it. She has quite some experience. Uh, Jessica Jones, which I thought was an excellent show. So you could see this is her page here, and you know, she has done quite a number of things. Back to the article. The series also marks the return of Hayden Christensen in the role of Darth Vader. Thank God. Have a look at this guy. So this is the revealed cast. Obviously, we know Ewan McGregor. We know Hayden Christensen. Um, this actress, Moses Ingram, I'm not familiar with. But it's really awesome to see Joel Edgerton and Bonnie Piesse. I apologize if I mispronounce her last name. But those two actors played in Revenge of the Sith as... Uh, Owen and Beru Lars, the uncle and aunt of uh, young Luke Skywalker. Pretty awesome to see them, and there was a lot of speculation going around, which I'll cover a bit later. Now, this is also a very interesting casting in Dira Varma. There's a lot of speculation going around that she will possibly, potentially play Governor Satine of Mandalore from the Star Wars Clone Wars television series. We'll take a look at that as well. And lastly, joining the cast are Moses Ingram, Joel Edgerton, Bonnie Piesse, Kumal Naninjani, and other actors. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi is executive produced by Kathleen Kennedy, Michelle Rowan, Deborah Chow, Ewan McGregor, and writer Joe Behald. Casting director is uh, Carmen Cuba. Obi-Wan Kenobi will be available exclusively on Disney+. Now, one major actor from the original prequels that is not on this list is Jimmy Smith who played the original Bail Organa in the prequel trilogy, as well as had a cameo in uh, Rogue One. Here's a picture of him, just to give you a nice refresher. That's him with uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I want to talk about him a little bit more, so I just kind of pulled up the page to show you pictures of him. So there is a quick look at the article, but now I'd like to talk about a little my personal expectations and hopes for the future for this character beyond the show. So we begin in a very interesting time. This is 10 years after Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. This is the dark times. This is the time of the tyrannical empire where Kenobi has exiled himself on Tatooine. Um, I would like to see his personal inner struggle. How is he dealing with letting down Anakin Skywalker and seeing his best friend turn to the dark side? I would like to see Kenobi's reaction to the fall of the entire Jedi Order. How have they failed Anakin in particular, but also the galaxy as well, and how their policies and philosophies failed to do what was needed. Um, so living with regret, this isolation, how will Kenobi make his first steps towards helping the rebellion, and how will he deal with training or watching out after Luke? I'm really excited to see Kenobi's interaction with the Tatooine locals. Owen and Beru Lars, how is he dealing with them, and why does Owen have friction with uh, Kenobi? It doesn't want anything to do with their family and to stay away from Luke. Uh, now, Tatooine is on the periphery, and Kenobi becomes a hermit, but also it would be interesting to see how he lays the foundation for future rebellion, and this is where Bail Organa comes into play. 
I know that Jimmy Smith has not been revealed as a cast member, but there's always room for surprises. And I would love to see how the two interact and how Bale Organa reaches out on Tatooine and constantly keeps in communication with Kenobi long before Leia travels on her ship Tantive IV and requests for his uh, help personally. Now let's talk about Vader. I'm really excited that Hayden Christensen is reprising the role. I enjoyed him in episode two and three. It'll be interesting to see where he takes the character next. Um, in terms of story, I really would like to see Anakin's broken heart. You know, the person we remember from prequels who was so fleshed out before he turns into Vader. Um, so what he did to Padme, the aftermath of Order 66, how, how he lets his own master down, all that hatred and anger, but also sadness and regret bottled up inside of that armor. Um, I would also love to see the Jedi Purge. From the action perspective, this is just a flawless opportunity for Vader to demonstrate his capabilities and powers. Remember that short scene at the end of Rogue One? Those were some of the craziest, most beautiful 60 seconds we've ever seen on screen in terms of Star Wars. And I would like to see more of it here. Just a total badass leading the front lines, all the clones or uh, uh, Imperial Stormtroopers behind him and just taking down names and dueling with various Jedi all over the galaxy. Indira Varma is also very interesting casting here. You may know her from Game of Thrones. She was the love interest of Viper, the character that gets killed off by the mountain. Um, there's a lot of speculation going around that she may play Duchess Satine. Satine was one of the coolest characters from Star Wars The Clone Wars show, she was the love interest, the romantic interest of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It would be cool to see some kind of a from the past scene, a sort of flashback to show an aspect of Kenobi that we haven't seen before. And now my final thoughts on Owen and Beru Lars. It's very interesting to see the actors from the prequels come back and reprise their respective roles. But the bigger question is, why are they here? A lot of fans are speculating. There is rumor mill going around. Are we going to see young Luke? Now, this happened in both Legends and Canon comic books, where you see uh, young Luke and how uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi is observing him and watching out for him from the sideline, you know, from the distance, because uh, Owen doesn't want anything to do with him and he doesn't let him near Luke. Uh, but in the show, it will be interesting to see how that is exploited. And even if Luke and Kenobi never meet each other face to face, I would like to see the young boy here. Beyond that, it would be also very cool to see how Leia is progressing and learning under the tutelage of Bail Organa on the Alderaan and what's going on there. So that's it for my impression. I'm really looking forward to this show. I think they got an excellent cast. They got an awesome director behind some of the best episodes in Mandalorian. So the future looks bright. And if it picks up, I would love to see Ewan McGregor come back for more. He can do more cameos in uh, um, feature films or even continue this series and expand Kenobi's storyline into something more. Thanks for watching. My name is Ben. I do comic book and book reviews regularly. If you enjoy this sort of content, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell button. I appreciate your time. I'll see you later.